All right, so it was all set this week to do some really cool experiments because my goal has been to take my three best electrolyzers and put them together. This 13-plate electrolyzer, for some reason, really pumps out good. So I have that combined with the 25-plate uh, electrolyzer, which is an exact duplicate of Zero's VSPB cell. And that was supposed to be mixed with this dry cell, which is made of... 19 plates and I was experimenting with this cork rubber gasket and it's been working perfectly I'm surprised um, but anyway this dry cell was working absolutely great and uh, actually I'll show you it running so as you can see the cell was running perfectly there wasn't a drop of foam inside the bubbler everything was working perfectly it was making a lot of gas and then after about three days I see this stupid thing so no matter what amperage I run it at starts pouring out this ridiculous foam that I know a lot of people have had to deal with but we got to get to the bottom of what causes this and uh, how to solve it because I know I can take it apart and rinse the cell with vinegar but I want to really know what this foam is why it's being produced and how we can stop this from happening in the future because it's it's such an annoying thing yet at the same time it got me thinking all that foam is is actually able to be transported anywhere you want now to use as uh, an explosive I'm not sure what the heck you'd use it for but got me thinking so I took a spoonful of this and uh, I brought it over to my sink and I lit it up and you'll see in a second exactly what happened So I guess there's no question there's definitely hydrogen and oxygen inside those bubbles. That was an HHO explosion, definitely. You could tell by the snap. So my two questions I want to know, anybody who's been experimenting out there, has anybody solved this problem of foaming without uh, just simply rinsing off the plates with vinegar? Has anybody actually figured out what's causing it and neutralized it somehow? Um, and the other question is, what is this foam consisting of other than HHO obviously the bubbles the skin of the bubbles are, are something solid that it doesn't want to break it just wants to stay in that foam shape so I'm very curious if anybody has any information at all if anybody's had any dealings with this foam uh, I'd love to know just uh, make comments let me know because I've got to figure this out it's driving me nuts the things I do know about it for sure is it's not to do with running at high amperage because all that foam that I just made uh, was running at 1.2 amps because I've been rinsing the cell out constantly with just pure distilled water and uh, just uh, I added one teaspoon of uh, potassium hydroxide and that's how I'm getting that foam at 1.2 amps so it's not uh, over amperage it's not over concentration of electrolyte um, the only thing that I can say that I did was I ran the cell for about 20 minutes the last time it worked right and I ran it long enough at uh, I believe it was only at about 9 amps that day but it was long enough to get the uh, electrolyte just slightly warm to the touch it was the first time I ever felt any temperature change in there and right after that is when I started getting that foaming problem so I don't know the only thing I could say that I've noticed that might relate to it is heat the heat maybe brings something out of these stainless steel plates. I'm using 316L, so I don't know what the heck's coming out. Chromium, nickel, there's something else in there. I can't remember, but who knows. If anybody knows, please let me know.